Yeah, keep looking at me, I dare you. I just been having to do everything I haven't had any help. And it's been harder and harder to get supplies. I found a guy, supposedly the ones that killed our gang. You think people dying to save me after all this time is going to make me feel better? Because good! You were doing so much more when you were back in the business. When you were with us. When we were all a team. Make sure you pack some warmer clothes. Or colder clothes. Ah! Okay, okay, how do I stop this thing? Um... That's the whistle! Okay, um... Are you sure bell. you got this? Uh, maybe this. Oh... Okay! Really? This is... this is it? they want a regular sample of a deer literally for like no reason <sighs> you know what literally whatever whatever don't worry I'll be awake soon buddy saying in advance if someone does hit you sorry but you know I gotta save the animal survivors for something a little bit more important Jesus okay okay it's not too bad said that I needed to go find the reward Why? Why wouldn't the bitch just tell me where it is? Like, beforehand. <sighs> to navigate through the goddamn woods for one deer. I'm gonna give it to her. Drop it off, whatever the letter said. And then, get my reward. You know, that's... that's Goddamn sample. <sighs> For getting me the sample. Your reward is at Diablo Ridge. I know it was really weird for me to ask for just a regular deer, but it's more important than you think. Please, for the love of God, take care and don't get shot. Are you fucking serious? She's not even here. I have to leave the fucking sample right in the room just to come back to a letter telling me, oh, thank you, but you gotta go looking for your thing now. <sighs> Bullshit. God, why did I take this job? You look like you're about to start robbing folk. So fucking cheesy. Get it, shut up. Hello. Come on, let's go. Double Ridge, she said. That'll be an 
evangelist, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It's easy work, they said. Yeah. Bullshit. Gotta go all the way near a fucking bridge for my reward, even if it's there. I bet, <laughs> I bet she was not even there. She probably just fucking scammed me. Those bullets aren't fucking cheap. Hog the whole road. Oh, God, everyone's pissing me off today. Buddy, we're gonna be there in no time, and then we can get home. I haven't been home only what five days because of this constant bullshit. Just job after job after job. But as soon as I become a naturalist, everyone wants a damn sample. Why? You can't like wait a minute. Give me a rest. It wasn't this annoying when I was a bounty hunter? Talking to myself like an insane person. Even though we all know for a fact I'm gonna keep doing it. You're not talking to myself. You listen to me, right, buddy? Yeah, horses can't respond. I did. Better be close. Can't stand the same thing. All of this is just for one white-tailed deer. One. Nothing special about it, just a deer. Okay. So... It should be around here. This is Diablo Ridge. Don't go anywhere, I swear. It'd be a real bitchy move. Okay. It wasn't hard for me to find people. It shouldn't be that hard to find an inanimate object. Maybe. I'm confident in my abilities to find a simple non-moving object. Intuition's probably off. <sighs> I was right. <laughs> oh, 
holy shit. I mean, if this is in it, then I don't know. What is it? What the fuck? Why? Why? Why did you... I can't tell if I should be offended, honored, or scared by the fact that they chose this place to put it. Well, might as well get it over with and just take this shit. Close the box now. Pretend this never happened. You fucking you. I just Well we all know that we can't <laughs> pretend that any of this happened. <laughs> Hello again, old friend. It's been a while. What are you doing here? to see how you're doing and I have some news how did you find me <sighs> old bounty hunter making bank and the naturalist business certainly sounds like something you'd do it wasn't that hard you're the bitch you're the bitch that I got the sample for that's why I never got to see her face because it was you Guilty as charged. You can't be near me. I, I don't know what possessed you to think that this was a good idea. This is more than just a friendly meeting. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Megan, I left for a reason, okay? This, this little thing that you're planning on happening can't happen. Okay? I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm, I'm leaving. He's alive, you know. Norman, he's alive. Does that get your attention? Megan. Megan. <laughs> what? Megan. What? This isn't fucking funny. I'm not... I'm not joking. He's been terrorizing all of Valentine. No, he's he not... Is... No, he's not alive. I saw him. He was dead in Dustin's barn. And I've seen him with my own two eyes terrorizing all of Valentine. Taking whatever he wants. He, that no, place is overrun. That's, that's not him. He wouldn't do that. He might be a thief, but terrorizing a whole town? That's that's not his style. Yeah, and it certainly wasn't Dustin's style to keep a person in a barn and beat him to death, or so we thought. People change. People hide things about themselves, and Norman was apparently hiding some shit. Because now, Valentine is in chaos. Megan, if this is some sick joke to try to make us get back together, then... It it's not working. This is seriously fucked up. I'm not joking. I wouldn't have... I've known where you were for a while now. I hadn't bothered doing anything about it. Because I knew you wanted to be left alone. You'd come back eventually. Hopefully, you'd understand that we could still be friends and that we wouldn't have any issues, hopefully. Even with everything that's happened. And then I found him. Just on my way doing some business as as I always do. And he was there. I was equally as surprised as you are right now. This, no, this isn't happening. Oh, 
Okay, then where's Gavin? <laughs> he couldn't have After found me alone. I... I did. It took a little while, but I did. Gavin's been too swamped with... After Nick dying, there was a lot of business he had to take up on his own, because Nick was his helper and all. He kind of had to do things more so by himself, and because I was still on the verge of being homeless, I had to do the best I can to keep that from happening. So I'd help him here and there, and I'd get a whole bunch of money, and I'm, I'm out of that shit shithole for once. <laughs> My house is actually livable, and I have a whole lot better stuff than I did back then. So, a lot has changed. Megan, how is he just apparently coming out of the blue two years after we find out that he's dead? Here's the thing, I don't think it was out of the blue. I think he's been doing some smaller stuff and then working his way up. Either that or he's been doing stuff in areas that we don't go to that often. I've been all over the state, what do you mean? I'm dragged all over the state with my job. Yeah, and so am I. I've, I've heard rumors about gangs and stuff like that, but I don't know if it's exactly him. It could be him. I have no clue. You'd have to ask him yourself. Yeah, I'm well, certainly not staring I don't him know in where face. he is to ask him, Megan. Valentine, probably. If that's where he's currently doing his business, then he's most likely in Valentine. I was just at Valentine. Nothing was happening. Okay, then I guess he's not at Valentine anymore. But back when I was in Valentine, earlier, like, maybe a few weeks ago, shit was going down. And shit will continue to go down unless we do something about it. You could, I don't know, talk to your best friend and maybe convince him to stop doing whatever the hell he's doing. Listen, we do not have to be a duo anymore. We do not have to continue to meet up after this. I just want you to help me stop him from doing what he's doing right now. We don't have to make contact again for another 20 years, if you wish. I, Unless some shit like this happens again, I will not bother to contact you. Megan, if that is I what you want. I didn't leave because I wanted to. Whenever I'm around, people die, and me being alone is the only way to prevent that. I didn't leave because I desired it. It was to keep you guys safe. People are dying without you bearing, being there too. Without you being a bounty hunter, a lot of crime has went around. More than usual. You're the one person who usually keeps everyone in check. So like it or not, you are doing so much more when you are back in the business. When you are with us. When we are all a team. But now you're a naturalist, and I've had to try and keep out of trouble as much as I possibly could. But we all know that never happens, so with you there or not, stuff will always go down. It's not your fault. We just end up in a bad situation, which was actually more so my fault, considering the fact that I took the job to get out of that shithole. I could have waited another- So you're just gonna walk away? I need some more air.
Thank you. Thank you. All right then, we going to Valentine? Megan, I swear to fuck if you are lying to me. I'm not, I've seen that man with my own two eyes. Because this isn't funny. So if you're lying to me, I'll kill you myself. And I mean it. If I was lying, I would have jumped off a cliff. Assume you were. It's like riding, riding a horse, I guess. You don't have to really relearn it. So Gavin's staying at the moonshine shack. He's not joining us. No, he's too swamped. But maybe we can help him later to get a few things cleared up, and then maybe he can help us if we really need a third. If he's alive, we're gonna be there. As far as I know, he's alive, so... We can get him after we track him down. He's not that great at tracking things down, as far as I remember. So we'd probably be better off with just the two of us. Not having dead weight currently, but if we can't find him within the next, maybe, 48 hours, we, we can go to him. And see if he can give us an extra set of hands. Go find my dead friend. Damn right. Of course he's not here. You know, like, why would this be easy? Oh, Megan had better luck. You should stop smoking. It's bad for your health. Fuck you. Jesus. She's no hell. Possibly. Alright then, thank- oh. Hey! I'm gonna guess nothing. The man's seen him, but he doesn't know where he went. Great, so we're leaving. Well, he probably didn't get far. I still don't even believe that this is real, so, I mean, I don't even know what to think anymore. You just gotta hope that your tracking skills and my 
actually halfway decent tracking skills now can be enough to find him. And if not, if then you're not lying. he can always cause a ruckus in another town. Crime's going down my ass. I already see two people on the bounty board that are X'd off. I think this place is doing just fine. This place, but every other one's kind of being just not as well off as they should be. And then again, I haven't been around major towns in a while, so I mean. Difficult. Hmm. How often were you here when Norman decided to take this place and basically make it his bitch? How many times did you see it? Maybe three or four. What direction the did he come in from? I think from this direction that we're currently slowly riding towards. Okay, what about the exiting point? I think maybe from the same direction, I have no clue. Because usually people like to repeat the same exact patterns because they're comfortable with it, so if that's true, then yeah. he's probably in this direction, so let's pick up the pace. God, people do not know how to drive fucking wagons. I mean, I would love to point out that the fact that this road has been used a lot, so it could be a sign, but people probably use these roads a lot, so... Can't really go off of that. Yeah, probably. <sighs> you know, I still have it. Have what? The little slip that they gave me for being a bounty hunter, they actually do that for some reason. My dumbass decided to keep it. Hi. Why not? If you weren't gonna be it anymore, then why'd you keep it? Memories. Jeez. I'm allowed to keep things for emotional value, Megan. seems kind of odd, though. Well, I didn't feel like getting rid of it. Uh -oh, okay, out of the road! Yeah, there's a lot of... Whoa! Easy, girl. Easy, girl. Megan. Yeah? There's a horse here. Seems mighty suspicious. Do you want to go check it out? I say we do. 
Give me a minute. I think you forgot something just a little bit. Just in case if it's nothing. Just in case. You know, I'd like to pay respects to Nick, but at the same time, totally not awkward. Lucas? What? I just see the horse. To the left. The tree? I see him. I mean, we could... I mean, I still got my lasso on me. Maybe he knows what Norman is. You don't After have that, to worry interrogating just... people. Well, what would you rather do? Walk up and ask him politely just for him to shove a revolver yes. down your throat? Yes! Yes, I would! You don't want to take at least some sort of precaution? You don't know if he's dangerous. Okay, well then you approach him normally, but make sure that we have our hand twitching at the revolver, just in case. Fine, but people like more you more, so you go first. Okay then. Glad you say that my person skills are so much better than yours. I mean, they kind of are. Not really. Uh, yeah, really. I'll just... Watch from a distance, and if something goes wrong, or if something goes right, I'll be there. Lucas? What? You might want to come here. I don't think I want to. So, you two weren't planning to stand there for the next 24 hours? No, Norman, in fact, we weren't. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I wouldn't expect you two to act so polite. Especially after, you know, abandoning me for so long. Oh, that's you know? a load of horseshit, and you a know it. A load of horseshit? A load of horseshit, yeah. Waking up in your own pool of blood in a barn with all of your shit gone. That's bullshit. When your friends don't come back for you for so long, that, that's bullshit. Someone that you trusted with your fucking life never comes back for you until just now, that's bullshit. Wouldn't you agree? How we thought you were are dead. you alive? <laughs> 